Here, tell me some more. Are you sure? Are you sure? Well, good morning, guys and gals. So, what is it, day three? I kind of lose track of time <laughs> when I'm up here. I think it's Tuesday. And we left Wright Island this morning. Actually, I just left just a little while ago. And it didn't rain last night. I thought it was going to. I would have I would have bet on it, but it didn't. It passed over. And now we are headed up to Rock Harbor, which is up at the top of the island. And hopefully I can get some gas. Um, I think I'm doing okay, but I don't really know this boat yet. And I think the fuel gauge is a little bit off, but I've got extra gas just in case. But I'm going to top off in Rock Harbor, pay their prices. I bet I'll only need 10 gallons or so get a couple of supplies, get a bag of ice, and then we're gonna keep going up to Passage Light, uh, Passage Lighthouse, which is right at the very top of Isle Royal. And I'm excited about that one. I'm also excited about Rock of Ages too. That one I'm a little worried about, because <laughs> I just seen pictures and the, there's half a dock missing and stuff like that, but we'll see. We're just taking it one step at a time. That's why we're doing it in person instead of looking at it on the internet, making it happen. So, uh, okay guys, that's about all I can tell you this morning. It's gonna be a slow trip. I've just been putting around, you know, as, as, I, as I say, for gas mileage reasons. It really does make a huge difference. If you're blasting around all over the place, you gotta carry a lot more gas and you gotta buy more gas, you know? So, and I like going slow. I just take it in. I've been seeing loons and cormonts, is that how you pronounce it? Cormants, Corm cormants, the ones that dive and the gansers, I think they're divers too, and no fish though. Man, oh man, gonna have to find a place to fish, so. Okay, enough yapping. We'll see you soon. more of this you guys can see that marker over that rock over there it's telling Wah! it's telling boats you can see that if I can keep it straight long enough I'm gonna start skirting the top of this I don't know this leg or this finger you know finger of the island and then soon within a couple miles we're gonna be in protected water and then start going up here, I'll show you guys once we get into protected water so I can, you know, keep the camera straight. Hold on. I see a lighthouse that I didn't know about. <laughs> now we gotta find out what it is. Can you guys hear that bell? There's a bell on that buoy. Okay, we're in. We're in protected water now. And I'm gonna go take a closer look at this lighthouse and see if there's a place to dock. And if so, let's go to shore and let's take a closer look. All right, just on the back side of it, of the little spit that this lighthouse is on, it looks like there's a pretty substantial is that living quarters and this looks very interesting this is why I don't do too much research because <laughs> all this stuff just becomes like personal discoveries and it's really exciting oh look at this some kind of it's some kind of old fish camp I was going to dock over here, but it says no docking, so I guess I got to go to the other one. Well, oh, guys, this is really funny. <laughs> right when I docked, I saw the uh, a couple of kind of official boats coming in, you know, like the park ranger patrols and stuff, and I'm like, oh, what did I do wrong? And that's just my way of thinking, you know, I'm always 
too much of a rebel or an outsider or something to think I actually could just <laughs> fit into polite society. But it, it ended up the, the fella um, that bought my sea dory. It's him. He just got off and he's like, hey. And I'm like, looked at him like, it's you. So we just chatted. And there are these guys just fun-loving guys that probably feel really lucky to be living and working out here. If I had to do it all over again, that would have been the, one of the five top things I would have done is get paid to basically hang out at places like Isle Royal. But too late for me now. But anyways, that was super cool. So um, I'm going to turn the phone around and let's take a look at this place. Okay, the Edison, Edison, Edison Fishery. I'll just go over this quick so you guys don't have to read it. But, uh, oh, let's see. Looks like they processed fish, caught a lot of fish. Um, Edison's are not here now or they would invite you in unless, of course, they were packing fish, mending nets or, nets, <laughs> or tending the garden as they would chat while they worked. Cool. Let's go look around. No, it's locked. I bet they do tours once in a while, but that's okay. We'll keep looking around. Oh, Rock Harbor Lighthouse. <laughs> I saw this place and I almost forgot that I came here to look at the lighthouse. Oh, this is this is all new territory to me, guys. I've I I have been up here the first time I ever came to Isle Royal with with a guy from Montenog and in a big 38 foot Chris Craft Commander. Um, him and his brother and his son and um, and he died like a year after that trip that was like 2017 maybe and he just retired like he he literally worked hard his entire life his name was was Terry and uh, I think about him quite a bit he's a really good guy from Illinois but he moved up north and Finally retired kind of early, like in his late 50s, and then he caught some kind of cancer, and he died like a year later. And I just always thought that was so heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. <clears throat> and I've worried about that myself. That's why I try to do stuff while I can. And I, I would say that all of us should while we got the time, because there's no guarantee of anything like retirement or old age or anything but anyways guys sorry to go off on that little tangent but i wanted to explain that to you so yeah this is the first time i've ever been up here really this part of the island <clears throat> and what a beautiful spot look at this someone was very gifted at making log structures and of course we have the most important building on site. <laughs> what does it say? Not for public use. Thank you, volunteer residents. And it's private. Can we peek inside, though? I gotta always peek inside. If you can. Oh! It's one of those bring-a-friend style. So it looks like this building is housing for the folks that volunteer up here, which is pretty cool. So it's still in operation. Got the nice folks over there working on that boat, bringing it to life. Here's that boathouse that I was going to dock at when I first got here. I just love these roofs. Hand shingles. Probably cedar shingles. It's amazing what you can do with some skills. here as far as I can without falling in the water and show you guys. Let's see if we can peek inside here guys. Can you see anything in there? I'll try to explain to you what I'm seeing. 
There's furniture, looks like storage. Um, a lot of the original stuff may be from the, from the homestead. Someone got a moose. Nice welded boat. Works gif. That's all business right there. Nice. That's what I shoot for, all the industrial stuff. Okay guys, well this was cool. But now, let's take the trail and go look at this lighthouse. this Arthur what does that say Arthur Lee good born August 17th 1846 nine died uh, I'm having a hard time reading that but uh, this is like an old wooden gravestone I don't think this is where he's buried, but they put it up here for the trail. Guys, I cannot f express to you <laughs> how excited I am right now. This is so cool. I live for this stuff. I love it. I love just discovering places. I mean, it's not like I've discovered it. It's, I'm not like Christopher Columbus or a Viking or something like a thousand years ago. It's, it, it, you don't have to be. like. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to convey this in a video. All you have to do, like, there's, a, there's an old saying that says something like, um, you know, every place is a frontier when you're, when you're the traveler or when you're the adventurer or something like that. It's like, it's, it's like an old, I don't know, almost like Greek saying. It's basically, it's like, you know, personally, every new discovery is, is a frontier. It's new. It's new to you. You know, it's new to me. And that's that's what matters, that attitude. Not being the first person to discover a place or, or do something. It's it's all about your personal experience. So hopefully that makes sense. You know, I just that's what that's that's what I like to do, is just do minimal research and just kind of go and let a place reveal itself to me. You know? Tell me what you guys think. You feel the same? Let's keep going. Oh man, I'm so excited right now. There's a lighthouse. Oh, a rabbit. Wavy would be going absolutely nuts. See him in there? What are you doing, little rabbit? I see something coming up. This reminds me of Sand Island out at the Apostles. <laughs> when I, you know, first heard about it. Oh yeah, there's another one on Sand Island. What? <laughs> it's like it's just meant, meant for me to discover. And same with this one. No one told me about Rock Harbor Light. I never even saw it on the internet. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, you can hear that buoy bell out there, too. This is a, this is a nice one. What a beautiful place. It's all, it's all brick that's been Whitewashed over, it's kind of taken a beating. Oh, how I would love to get a tour inside of this lighthouse. 
go up in that spire there. Man, oh man. This is really cool. Here, let me see if I can get a better view. Okay, guys, I did a little bit of bushwhacking to kind of give you guys a different view of the, the lighthouse here. Rock Harbor Lighthouse. This is so cool, and there's two more that I didn't even know about until we just looked at that sign. So let's just let's just take it all in. I'm gonna have to extend my time here by a few days, which means I'm gonna have to find some kind of Wi-Fi or something to notify a couple people because I told them if I wasn't back in roughly a week, maybe they could start worrying. <laughs> So I don't want anybody worrying, but uh, I'll figure it out. I'm going up to Rock Harbor Lodge tomorrow to get some gas, and I'll inquire about getting a few notes out. But okay, guys, enough rambling as always. Let's keep going. There's lots more to see. You know I gotta check, guys, every time. What does it say? Welcome to the Rock Harbor Lighthouse. Feel free to enter an explorer and spend as much time as you like. Please keep the door closed. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it looks like I heard to enter and explore. It's, it's, a, it's locked though. Oh, I got so excited there for a second. Here's another door on the front side, but it doesn't have a door handle on it. Ugh. Oh. And the root cellar has a lock on it. You know, guys, I'll bet you... Hold on. I'll bet you I'm just here at the wrong time of year. It's like the end of September. Getting, you know, close to the end of September. We got to come back here next year. Because it looks like you just you can just do self-guided tours. I'll look into it more, but if that's the case, we're definitely coming back here and looking at the inside. All right, guys, let's head back to the boat and figure out where we're going to go next. Are you sure?